Best pets always have been nerve wracking. Um, it's important that the, there's a, a clean edge has been created between the <clears throat> these almost abstract marks in the background and the and the finished painting. But this taking this off obviously is going to have a, a truly dramatic impact on on the whole thing. So. Um, where is this looking good to me at the moment? This, <laughs> this will tell. I suppose you're taking a huge chance because obviously there was so much work has gone in already on this. So if this is wrong, the whole thing is lost. So it's, uh, it's a little bit nervy. Does it work? I think it probably does. I'm going to have to let this layer dry. This is just a wee bit too too insubstantial for my liking at the moment. It's almost like watercolour. So this this has to dry, and then what I would plan to do is to build back on top of that and actually create some texture within these layers. There are some bits of it where the the gold paint. Um, has registered a wee bit more significantly, but there's still lots of it, which, which as I say, it's just it's getting a bit lost in here. Okay, good, good so far. Okay, so here is the the finished piece. Um, I'm happy with it. There's always a, there's always a, a hesitation. I suppose with any painting, but um, in this, in as far as it's ever possible to, to be completely happy, I, I'm happy with the direction that this has gone in. This combination of uh, decorative two-dimensional elements and, and, and three-dimensional elements has been in my work for a long time. I've been wrestling with this for years, and the use of gold, gold, um, gold paint. Um, has been with me for a long time. In certain cases, I've, I've used the gold uh, as solid panels. Um, I've tried all sorts of different things, but I, I feel that I'm getting there with this. I really like, I like the fluidity of these lines. Interestingly, uh, there's a quite a contrast between, there's another painting with the same name, uh, featuring the same model, where, I, where I've used essentially the same elements in the background. But what I've done in that case is to use the negative space um, to paint the areas between the, the elements that are, um, the positive elements. Um, a very, very different feel and, and at this point I'm not sure which of these I think is the strongest. My gut at the moment is that, that this, this is the direction that I'll go in. Um, it has a lovely, I think almost like a kind of Japanese um, woodcut feel to it. Which is which is kind of what I what I intended. <laughs> 